Welcome to another message from DTW, Fish Lake Valley headquarters. We're studying the gospel according to Luke, Cata Lucan. Of course, Luke's name comes from Lucifer, the Latin, which means light carrier. Now, we've been studying the first 56 verses. We've done six messages in the, the gospel of Luke. We have John, the Baptist's father and mother, Elizabeth and Zachariah. We have Mary, uh, pregnant by the Holy Spirit of God. And we have now, from verse 57, we have the birth of John the Baptist. And we'll see that. We will read it from Greek and then we'll translate it and look at some of the Greek uh, roots and verbs and actions. And we'll read it from the Amplified Bible also. 157. Te de Elizabeth. Te de Elizabeth. Et whole chronos. Tooth tech. Tekain, Altain, Kai, Egan, Asen, Huion. And Elizabeth, and to Elizabeth, it was filled up the time to bear her, and she brought forth Huion, the heir, the heir. This would be their heir. But in all reality, John the Baptist would never be theirs. John the Baptist would be God's. From the time of his birth till all of his life, it says that he would be a Nazarite. A Nazarite was someone that was set apart and he would become a great prophet of God. He would be a, a he would be a rejected prophet, but one that all the people feared, even the king Herod, the son of Esau. Pontius Pilate respected and revered him. Even the priest, even though they hated what he was saying, they revered him. They feared him for who he was and the power of God working through him. Now Elizabeth, her time, nine months, had been fulfilled, and now she brings forth this heir, this son, her firstborn. And this was a miraculous birth. She was beyond the days or the years of childbearing. And Zechariah, remember, was a priest of God. Now Mary and Elizabeth were relatives, probably from their mother's side. We don't know whether they were cousins or what they were, but they were relatives. Mary was of the tribe of Judah, and Elizabeth was of the tribe of Levi, and of course they could be interrelated because Judah could marry Levi also. Now Elizabeth means God swears or God keeps his word, and uh, Zechariah means God is great and powerful. These two people God chose to bring forth this special son, which would be Elijah of the New Testament. Kai Akusan, Hoi Pedrikoi, Kai Hoi Siganes, Altes Hote, M. Megalinan. Kurioi, Kurios that is, Tu Ilios, Altu Met Altes, Kai Sin Ekairo Alte. And she heard the ones, now this word perioikoi, this means the ones around her house, neighbors, ones that lived around her, around her inhabitation. And the ones, relatives. That means uh, those that were born from the same generating force. 
relatives, blood relatives of her, that she kept on magnifying Jehovah. She kept on magnifying the Lord and the mercy of him with her. And they kept on rejoicing with her. They kept on rejoicing with her. The imperfect tense here. Two times in this verse. 159. We'll go back and read this after we do the first few verses. We'll read them together from Amplify. Kai Aganito. En te hemera. Te ogdo e elthon peri temen. To padion kai ekulu on alto epi to onomate tu patros alto Zachariah. And it uh, happened, it came to pass. During the eighth day, or in the eighth day, they came to circumcise. The word circumcise is peri to main. That means to cut around present infinitive active, the child. Now he was going to be grafted into the Abrahamic promise. So this child is circumcised as the covenant, the old covenant, the barith, the cutting. And the child, the pideon there, and they kept on calling him by the name of the father of him, Zechariah. They kept on calling his name Zechariah. Jehovah is renowned. Or is great. One in sixty. Kai apokrithesi. He mater. Altu a pain. Uki Allah. Kleithesite uwanis. And having answered the mother of him. His mother. The mater of him. She said no. But. Now they've been calling him Zachariah. No. But. Uki. Allah. No, and this is a strong adversative conjunction, page 15 there, Allah. But no, he shall be called Awanis. Awanis. Now remember in the Old Testament we have the book of John, which is the book of Jonah. Jonah and John are basically the same name, which means dove and gentleness. Now neither the prophet Jonah nor the, nor the prophet John the Baptist were either gentle or quiet men. Verse 61. Kai apon pros alte hote udes esten ectes sinagenes su hos kalete to onomate tutu. Tuto. And they said to her that no one there is out of the relatives of you, out of your relatives, who is called by the name this, by this name John. Verse number 62. Now we have the optative mode. A very rare mode. Enenun de to patri autu to ti on theloi kaliste auto. And they kept on uh, nodding and to the father. They kept on nodding or looking at the father of him and what if he may hopefully wish to be called the child. They kept on nodding to the father and they kept on asking him or nodding or trying to get him to say what the name of the child would be. The man's the boss. So they were going to ask the boss. We have to realize at this period of time that women had no rights hardly at all. I mean, they, they, were, they were property. And this woman says, that I'm going to name this child John because Zachariah had told her by writing that the child's name should be John, that God had given him a name. This is God's name. He's going to be John the Baptist, John the Dipper. And then 63, Kai... Altesos Penakidon Egropsen Legon Ewanes Esten Onoma Autu Kai Ethamason Pontes. 
and having asked for a tablet, he wrote upon that tablet, saying, John, it is the name of him. And they were absolutely struck out of their senses, every one of them. Verse number 64 now. Anokthe deitostoma autu para krema kai he glossa autu kai elale yulogon ton theon. And it was opened up the mouth of him, the stoma of him. Instantly, parakema. And the tongue of him. And he kept on speaking, blessing the God. He kept on speaking, blessing the God. Eulogon. Nominate singular, master, present, participle, active there. He kept on blessing God. Now let's go back and read up to where we are in the Amplified Bible from 57 to 64. Now at the time that Elizabeth should be delivered came and she gave birth to a son, the heir, her firstborn. And her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown great mercy upon her and they rejoiced with her. And it occurred, it happened, that on the eighth day when he came to circumcise the child, they were intending to call him Zachariah, the people that were going to do the circumcision. After his father, Leviticus 12 and 3 in Genesis 17 and verse 12 cross-reference to this. But his mother said, no, no, but he shall be called John. Now, when they circumcised the child, they would speak the child's name. That's kind of like people today invented that uh, baby baptism business, pedal baptism, and they give a child a name when they baptize them. And they said to her, none of your relatives is called by that name ever. And they inquired with signs uh, of his father what he wanted to call him. Then Zechariah asked for a writing tablet and then wrote, His name is John. And they were all astonished. And at once his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed. And he began and kept on speaking, blessing and praising and thanking God. Verse number 65 now. Kai againito epi Pantas phobos, tus periokontos, autus kai en holain, te orene, teis judeas dialaleto. And it became upon all fear of the ones living around her, her neighbors. This is periocontois. That's accusing plural masculine, present participle active. All of those living around her in this village where she lived. And in all the entire mountain country of Judea. It was caused to be thoroughly discussed throughout all of these areas. And the last part of 65, Panta ta remata tauta. And all the edicts, this word is remata there, and all the decoration and all the edicts and all the prophecies pertaining to the birth of this child. They were all talking about it. Now, pay attention, people. The birth of John the Baptist was not hidden. Everybody knew about it. First of all, John the Baptist, uh, his father was a priest. And there was a miracle that happened there in that temple. When he went in there, he saw an angel standing at the right hand of the altar of, the altar of incense. And he told him that his wife's going to get pregnant and he's going to have a child and he's going to name his name John. Now everybody from one end of the country, from Galilee to all the way Judea down to Hebron and all over knew about this story. I guarantee you something like that didn't go unnoticed. Not only that, but up there in Galilee, that was across worlds of the world. Everybody's hearing about this miraculous prophet child. Now, we have another story here. 
verse number 66. Kai ethanto. Pontes hoi acuantes. En te cardia. Alton legontes. Ti ara to paideon tuto este kai. Gar cater curio. En met alton. And they placed all the ones having heard in the heart of the hymn, saying, in other words, they, they memorized this. They all knew it. Everyone passed it on to their family, their neighbors, and their neighbors, and their neighbors, all through the whole land of Palestine, they knew about John's birth. All over. It's not a hidden, it was not hidden under a bush. The light shined from the mountaintops. And they placed all the ones having heard into the heart of them, then their memory saying, What then? That word art of there, that's a little particle. What shall be following? What shall be following? That little particle there on page 49, it means in sequence. Little particle means what shall be following in order of this child, this pideon. Now the word pideon there is neuter, but the child is the son. And uh, what shall be indeed for the hand of the Lord, it kept on being with this child. The hand of God kept on being upon him always. And now we have a prophecy. We have a beautiful prophecy. Kai Zacharias ho patera tu. At place de numatos hagiu kai et prothetusen legon. And Zachariah, the father of him, he was filled plumb up with a spirit holy. And he prophesied, saying, and he prophesied, saying, Let's read up to this again. And at once his mouth was opened and his tongue was loosed and he began to speak and blessing and praising and thanksgiving God and awe and reverential fear came over all their neighbors and all of these things were discussed throughout all the hill country of Judea. All the priests knew about it. All the worshipers of God knew about it. All of the haters of God knew about it. Everybody knew about it. And all who heard him laid them up in their hearts, saying, Whatever will this little boy be then? For the hand of the Lord was so evidently and positively with him, protecting and aiding him in every way. Now Zechariah, his father, was filled and controlled by the Holy Spirit of God and prophesied, saying, Now we're going to see this prophecy. Verse 68. Eulo Gatos, Curios Hotheos, Tu Israel, Hoti Episkepsato, Kai Epoeson, Lutherosin, to lao altum. Blessed be the Lord the God, Jehovah Elohim of Israel. Elohinu, the God of Israel, because he has visited for himself and he has performed redemption. Now, not only did they know about this child when this child was born, Mary Mary is pregnant. And everybody that heard about John the Baptist heard about Mary being pregnant with Son of God. With the Son of God. Jehovah. Because here we have it. Right here. Through this man the arm of the Lord shall be revealed. He visited and he performed redemption. The redemption is through Jesus Christ. That Son of God. For the people of him. Verse 69. 
Kai Egerain, Kera Soterias, Hamon and Oiko, David, Paidos, Alto. And he raised up the horn. The word, look at that word keros. We get our word carrot from that. Carrot is like a little horn. A little orange horn. And he raised up the horn of salvation, so terios, for us. In the house of David. What's it talking about? What's this talking about? It's talking about the Messiah coming. We're talking about the herald. The Eliezer of the Old Testament, the friend of the bridegroom, is going to come out. He's going to make straight the way of the Lord. And that's what Zechariah is talking about. He was not of the house of David. Jesus would be of the house of David. Of course, they're both related to him. Yes. But Judah. Mary was of the tribe of Judah. In the house of David, the servant of him. 1 Samuel 2, 1 and 10, Psalm 18, 2, 89, 17, 132, 17, Ezekiel 29, 21, and Matthew 1 and 1. Kathos elase and dia, stomatos tu hagio op aianos profeton alto. And just in the same matter he spoke, by the agency of the mouth of the holy ones. These are the prophets of old time. Of old time. These are the ones I just read you, the the cross reference scripture. The mouth of the holy ones from the ages, from times old, the prophets belonging to him. Verse number 71 So Terion ace, Ekthron, Hemon, Kai Ek, Keras, Ponton, Ton, Misun, Ton, Hemas. Salvation out and away from the enemies of us and out of the hand of all the ones hating us we shall be saved out of the hands of all the ones hating us people this is not talking about Israel as a nation then because Israel would reject Jesus but in the future time Israel shall be protected by God from all of her enemies Poese Elios met Aton Pateron, Hemon Kai Menestene, the Athekes Hagias Altu. To perform mercy. By the way, in the Old Testament, one of the Messianic title, titles was the Man of Mercy. Was the Man of Mercy. The Merciful God. The Man of Loving Kindness. That's the word Helios. To perform mercy with the fathers of us and to remember this word here and many else this is where we get the word memorial you go to memorial service to remember someone that has died to remember the diatheces the covenant the holy covenant of him the holy covenant the Abrahamic covenant and the Davidic covenant verse 173 now Orcone Hone Homosen, Pros, Abram, Ton, Patera, Himon, Tu, Dune, Himen. An oath which he swore. Now the word oath there means to fence yourself in. To tell only the truth and to perform the truth. Oath which, little acoustic singular, relative pronoun, which he swore. Third person singular, first heiress, indicative, active, which he fenced himself in with to Abraham. God told Abraham that he was going to bring forth a seed, singular. And that's the one we're talking about. We're talking about the seed of the woman. We're talking about the one that shall bring forth the salvation of Israel and all mankind. Jesus would die for us all. Abraham, the father of us, and to give to us. Aphobos, ek kairos ek throne, rusentos, la terrain altu, fearlessly, out of the hand of our enemies, fearlessly, no fear. I remember a long time ago, 
in the early 1800s. My great 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 grand grandfather, Smith Paul, came up into the Chickasaw Nation in Mississippi. He is starving to death. He'd taken off his, his stepmother, uh, had tried to get him hung for horse stealing. So he took off, and he took off and going west. And he went on the Pigeon Trail, and he liked to starve to death being a young teenage boy, very young teenage boy, 12, 13, 14 years old. And he came into Chickasaw Nation. He had his old, old flintlock rifle. And he had a few shot, and he was starving plumb to death. His best friend had been killed, Hezekiah Burkett. Everything they had was stolen from them. He had no food, he was running out of shot and powder. And he comes up and he hears a human boy screaming, 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 screaming. And that voice was of my great, 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 great uncle, J. Pawnee, which was a spiritual leader and a medicine man, a preacher among the Chickasaw Nation. A bear had attacked him, and that bear was killing J. Pawnee, and he was screaming. And Smith Paul happened to be the first one closest to him, and he came up, and the first thing he did was shoot that bear. And he shot that bear, and then, I'm getting some interference here. He shot that bear, and that bear screamed, took off running, and then turned back and came right straight at him. And he loaded up the powder, all the powder he had in that barrel of that gun, and put the last shot he had in it down that barrel. And about that time, here came the bear, and he waited so that bear got right upon him and he stuck that gun in that bear's mouth and pulled the trigger and killed the bear. Mm -hmm. And J. Pawnee, J. Pawnee gave him a name. And that's the word Afobos. He gave him name, no fear or fearless. No fear or fearless. No fear or fearless. My mother used to call me. We didn't know about this story hardly at all of, of Jay Pawnee or anything. We, it was back there in time. We knew that my great 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 grandfather was called a chameleon, and we didn't really know what that meant. But we found out what it meant. It meant fearless. He was a young boy. They called him a chameleon. It was a great name of honor. And he became a chief of the Chickasaw Nation. Ophobos, ek keras, ek thron, ruthentas, la treen atu. Fearlessly, out of the hand of the enemies, of the enemies, having delivered us, having snatched us out, as Smith Paul shot that bear and snatched J. Pawnee out of the claws and the teeth of that bear. He said, having delivered us and snatched us out to serve him. To serve him. God delivered us to serve him. God snatched Israel out of Egypt to serve him. Let my children come out. Let my son come out. Let him serve me. When we're born again, we're servants of God. We're not servants of ourselves. We're servants of God. 175. In Hosio Tete, Kai de Kaiosine, Enopion Alto Posias Te Semerasamon. And in holiness, in separateness, and in righteousness, down in the presence of Him in all the days of us. All the days of us. Kai si de Pideon Prophetes. He posed to play they say pro pro poor gar in opion kudio in toy masse hodus out to 
and you also a child, the prophet of the Most High God. Jesus is the Most High God. He is the Most High. Our Savior is, is the God of heaven. He is Jehovah the Old Testament. He who shall become became and dwelt among us and we beheld the glory of the glory of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. That we should love Him. That we should turn to Him in every way. With our lives and with our hearts. The prophet of the Most High God he shall be called and you shall go before Him before the presence of Jehovah and that's Jesus to prepare the ways of him and we know that there was an emissary from the king in the ancient times that would went forth and went into every land and every people and he told them get ready the king is coming you prepare that road there won't be one bump in the road there won't be one ditch in the road and you shall stand on the side of the road and you shall hail that king or you shall be required to tell why you didn't. Tu dene no sin, so terios tu lao aton en athise hamartion aton. And to give the knowledge of salvation to the people belonging to him in forgiveness of sins of them. Have you come to the knowledge? of the Savior Jesus Christ? Do you know this great God? Do you know this great King of Israel? Dia Splagna Iliusio Himon in hois epi kepsesai himas antale ex hupsos He calls the bowels, the guts of mercy, the man of loving kindness. God loves us. He feels our pains in his stomach like you would see your child hurt, like you would see a, a beloved wife smashed, like you would see a beloved son or daughter hurt des desperately. There are people in the past have watched a husband or a wife killed or a son or a daughter killed. And they sat down and mourned themselves to death. That's the word splogna right there. Bowels of mercy of God of us, in which he shall visit us, rising out of the heights. Epiphane, Epiphane, Toys and Scote, Kai Skia Thonatu. Gathomenois tu katu thene tus podos himon eis podon erenes. Now here we have a beautiful statement. Isaiah nine and two, Isaiah fifty nine eight, Psalm twenty three, Matthew four sixteen, Isaiah nine and two fifty nine eight. These are all cross references here. To shine upon the one in darkness and the shadow of death sitting the one to guide the feet of us unto if I can get my page turned over unto the way of peace do you have peace in your heart do you have the peace of forgiveness in your heart Let's look at this now, up to 79. Up to 80. Let's go ahead and do 80 here first. And then we'll go back and read it. Tode Pideon Yuxanen Kai Ekra Tu Uta Numati Kai En En Teis Eremus Ios Hameras Anadexios how to proston Israel. Moreover, the child, he kept on growing. This is John the Baptist. And he kept on growing strong in the spirit. And he continued and kept on in the desert. He stayed out and lived in the desert. 
Mom and dad didn't have a son. We didn't have a priest. We have a high priest, Jesus Christ, that this priest was pointing to. This volunteer priest, this Nazarite, lived his whole life as a volunteer priest and the law of the Nazarite. In the desert places until the days of the pointing out of him to Israel. Here we have that great, great prophet going to stay out there in that desert until the time that he shall show forth the Son of God. To make true and show the mercy and compassion and kindness and promise to our forefathers and to remember and carry out all his holy covenant to bless, which is the more sacred because God made it himself. That covenant he sealed with an oath to our father Abraham. Abraham didn't sign that covenant. God signed that covenant. He put him to sleep. And God walked through those, that sacrifice. Abraham was asleep. And the covenant he sealed with the oath to our fourth father Abraham to grant us that we being delivered from the hand of our foes might serve him fearlessly. In holiness and divine consecration and righteousness that in accordance with the everlasting principles right within his presence in all the days of our life. And you, little one, shall be called prophet of the Most High. For you shall go before the face of Jehovah to make ready his ways, Isaiah 40 and 3, and Malachi 4 and 5. This is Elijah of the Old Testament in the person of John the Baptist to bring and give the knowledge of salvation to his people and the forgiveness and the remission of their sin, the sending away of their sin, because and of and through the heart of tender mercy and loving kindness of our God, a light from on high will dawn upon us and visit us, Malachi 4 and 2, to shine upon us and give light to those who sit in darkness, in the shadow of death to direct and guide our feet in a straight line into the way of peace. And the little boy grew and became strong in spirit. And he was in the desert and the wilderness until the day of his appearing to Israel and the commencement of his public ministry and that which made the way of the Lord straight. Our Heavenly Father, we send this message to you. We send it out for you. Father, that people may believe and they may hear the words of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for one, if there's lost out there, that they will be born again. And those that are saved, that they'll give themselves to you in every way. Father, forgive me where I failed you. Making us new hearts and new minds and new wills. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.